You know, there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of people in the professional wrestling that I love and a lot of people that I hate. But of those people that I love and hate, the one thing that's the most important thing to me is that they respect me and I respect them just as I respect the wrestling fans that are out there. Just like Hulk Hogan might be an obnoxious, bald-headed idiot, but I respect him and he respects me. Ric Flair, he might have a banana nose and be a goof, but I respect him and he respects me. Mick Foley, he might have a satchel ass, but I respect Mick Foley too. But there's one person in this world that I do not respect, and that person is that fat, overbearing, obnoxious, egg-sucking dog. And I've got him in the ring tonight in a cage, and that's exactly where I want him. Now, I respect the people of Carolina, and I'm going to tell you one thing. As you people have been used to great performances in the ring, you've been used to great talent, and now you have to watch this big, fat slob walk around and do absolutely nothing. Well, that's all going to end here tonight, and that's a promise from the Funker. Just the road of the American Dream. How many roads have I traveled with Terry Funk? How many beatings have we gave each other? The night this thing has to come to an end. Inside this steel case, the American Dream, the Tower of Power, too sweet to be sour. Terry Funk, Dust the road, the longest running feud in the industry. And it ain't gonna be pretty tonight. So I'm telling you, when you see this cage go up, you better take a deep seat and a far away look, like they say in the old rodeo house. The American Dream Dusty Rose is going to put it on Terry, get funky like a monkey right here tonight. All right, fans, this is what it's all boiled down to tonight is the rage in the cage. We have Terry Funk to battle the American Dream Dusty Rhodes, and they're already going at it on the outside. Well, you just never know what to expect when you got uh, Terry Funk in the in the building because he's liable to do anything at any time. I wouldn't be surprised to see him come off the top of the cage and land on the Big Dusty tonight. This guy is absolutely one of the most loose. When they made up the saying, loose cannon, they had Terry Funk in mind. He'll fire from any position. All right, Terry Funk is on the outside. officially underway Terry Funk wanting an I quit match but I think it'll still go under the uh, just the standard steel cage match which is violent enough well I tell you what these are two bulls in a cage right here 
you can believe one thing, there will be some punishment dished out. Well, Dusty Duck, that left. Let's think of how long, Randall, exactly these guys have been feuding probably off and on for almost 30 years. Well, it's my understanding they had some sort of falling out at the Lord's Last Supper, and they have continued it on until now. And I'm going to tell you, this is going to be an ugly match before it's over with. There's the big elbow to the head. Terry Funk did not want that whatsoever. And Big Dusty gives him another one. He's looking for him. He can't. Oh, there he is. The question here is who's going to draw first blood? It really remains to be seen, you know. Uh, I guarantee you before this is over with, unless I miss my guess, this will be a bloodbath. These two guys in a cage, that's like, that's like putting two mountain lions in a cage, two grizzly bears in a cage. Two Rottweilers. Two Rottweilers in a cage and rub their rear ends till they're sore and pour turpentine on them. You can almost be assured that this match will be violent and very bloody. It will be ugly before it's over with, I guarantee you. It will be a bloodbath. All right, and Terry Funk is pounding on the American dream, working him over. He certainly is. Oh, he's rubbing his head into that steel cage. That right there will get somebody. Oh, no. There's return in kind. But Dusty blocked it. Yeah, yeah, Dusty blocked it, but Terry Funk wasn't able to block it. He rammed head first into that steel cage, and there he goes again. And I'm going to tell you what, when steel and skin meets, the skin parts, the steel doesn't. Terry Funk is on spaghetti legs. Well, he came out on spaghetti legs. Don't, uh, don't be fooled by that. Uh, Terry Funk has been through war after war after war in his many years in the wrestling business. But don't ever sell that man short. But by the same token, the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes, he's been there, he's done that. Uh, he's done everything there is to do in professional wrestling, except the one thing he would really like to do is put his old adversary completely out of business and out of the business completely, and that would be Terry Funk. And tonight he has that golden opportunity, but along with that, he also has the opportunity to be on the other end of that career-ending situation, and Terry Funk is bleeding about the forehead, ladies and gentlemen. Right. And he is slammed once again into the steel cage and the blood pours. Terry Funk taking a thrashing at this point in time. Well, the steel cage is taking the thrashing. Terry Funk is taking a bloodbath at this point. He is bleeding profusely about the head, and Dusty Rhodes is moving in. He smells blood. He's like a shark in the ocean. He smells blood in the water. He's going after his adversary. Right on him with another punch. And there's our big left, and a, oh, a, a, a knee to the south there. Terry Funk is back. He's throwing them knees. He's throwing them lefts and rights. He thinks it's a boxing match, and he's using Dusty Rhodes' head for a punching bag. Oh, he's working him over severely. I tell you, if you're weak, if you're weak in stomach and you're weak in heart, don't watch this match. Go ahead and fast forward to something else. Here comes Terry Funk trying to get out of the cage. Like he's pushing against the door. He wants to get out. That's what it takes to win this match. Terry Funk is acting like a complete madman tonight. Well, he's always that way. There's nothing new about that with him. He is a madman. And he is doing what he has to do to get out of that cage. And Dusty Rhodes wants to get to him before he gets out. The cage door must be jammed or locked. The cage door is tied. That's the rules of the match. It's tied. you got to either get out of the cage or score a pinfall. And we don't want to make it easy for a man to get out the door. I think Terry Funk has got about three-quarters of that cage door open, though. He does. But he's got three-quarters of Dusty Rhodes' head open, too. So there you have it. They're both bleeding. Oh, he's going to bite him. He's turned vampire. And Dusty Rhodes is probably about to be busted open as well. Oh, Dusty's already busted open. I saw blood trickling down his forehead uh, a moment ago. And there's a big head butt. Now, I don't know if that's a good idea or not. That's one hard head hitting another hard head. Yeah, Dusty, Dusty will trade head butts with him. 
Dusty Rhodes rallying, punching, elbow smash. Right to the forehead, where the blood, see, you can see Dusty's bleeding also. That blonde hair is soaking up the blood. Down goes Terry Funk. Both of these men severely lacerated. I'll tell you, as someone I don't envy in the ring tonight is referee Tony Hunter. Well, he got the girls match. He had to get this one, too. You got to take the good with the bad. Here comes up. He's planting that big elbow. And there it is. Got him right in the top of the head. That big elbow. I've, I've been on the receiving end of it a couple of times, and I'll tell you right now, it's very painful. Those must be some old scores that... Uh, oh, he has returned that low kick. Yeah, that's some old scores being tallied up right here. It's a good thing Terry Funk's children are all grown because he's not going to be able to sire anymore. He's finished with that job as of now, if he wasn't already. All right, Terry Funk is climbing. Let's see if he's he wanting to climb out of the cage, which is a good idea, except for one thing. And he may can. The Bull of the Woods is right behind him. Oh, he's done pulled his pants down. Oh, no, that's more than we needed to see right there. Say no to crack. Say no to crack. We might have to digitize our screen here. I don't know about digitizing it, but that's a whole lot of crack there. That's something we don't want to see. I know that much. Oh, absolutely not. Oh! Terry Funk falls. He landed on the family jewels once again. And he's crotched himself. He's in a mess. He's in a mel of a hess. That's what he's in. He's in a mel of a hess. And Dusty Rhodes is showing no mercy. Well, there is no mercy between these two. Well, a steel cage match is supposed to be the match to end all. Well, this will end something right here tonight. You can believe that. If this doesn't end at all, I don't know what will. Well, the steel cage keeps you. Oh, they're, they're just exchanging headbutts now. But in the steel cage, there's nowhere to go. The only thing you can do is stand and fight. And I'm going to tell you right now. Low here, blow. These, if, if these, either one of these guys brought a woman with them to the match tonight, she can go ahead and go home now because these guys are done for that for the evening. Both of them have, have had their... Terry Funk has set a Brandon Iron on fire. Oh, Lord, he's going to brand him. Oh, he branded the referee. He got Tony Hunter. Yes, he did. And he, hey, hey, Tony Hunter, I think is on fire a little bit here. I believe he is, too. Wait a minute, Dusty's got, oh, he's Brandon, he's Brandon Terry Funk. He got him. Right yeah. In, right in the rear end. He is on fire. He is wildfire at its best. Nobody had thought this would happen. I never had any idea this was going to be the situation. And Tony Hunter has the flaming blended Brandon iron in hand. Tony Hunter is carrying the torch. And it's over. It's over. All right, Dusty Rhodes gets the win. Tony Hunter is tripped up. Terry Funk is... Terry Funk's going to try to maul the referee. I think he wants his Brandon iron back. Now Dusty Rhodes has the flaming Brandon iron. see what happens here. We're going to hold our cameras right here. People will want to see Terry Funk branded. I would like to see, uh, I'd like to see that flame put out. That's a very dangerous situation we're looking at here, ladies and gentlemen. This could very well be the start of something very bad. 